Kobe Pellerito making his travel book with his camera right now. M is for Montana. All right, here's the famous landmark, Grandpa's Big Toe, right there. Here's the world famous rock formation, Grandpa's Back Knee. Say back. Oh man, Grandpa's Nipple over there. Oh, he's got a big nipple. Oh my God, the world famous landmark. Look, everyone is at this one. What is it called? Grandpa's Boner! Oh. Oh. Sorry, I was trying to get the shot. Straight amateur hour here. <laughs> Watch your adventure. Pretty fish you got there. This thing. Kobe, what are we doing here? I'm pooping. I'm losing weight. Two of them. You guys have no idea how stressful this is. <laughs> we want to sleep, but we have to give this oh, guy an extra pair of eyes. eyes. It's not like I've been driving for 14 hours or anything. Nah. Or I'm like mentally exhausted. Nah. Or my senses are dull and Here, delayed. Eat a, eat a cliff for our energy shot. Oh, good call. Then you'll be fine. Keep you up going. That's a great idea. Good stuff. The White Road Adventure should be called the Don't Hit Deer Adventure. <laughs> big buck. Big buck. Oh, Whoa, wow. big buck. Three bucks. Did you see that? All of them hit it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what that means. Rub a dub dub. Three bucks in a ditch. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> this is really not that fun at all. Can we just get to our destination? Maybe this is why speed limits change in Montana at night. Yeah, it makes sense. Hmm. Honestly, for as many deer as we're seeing, I'm surprised there's not more dead on the road. Mm -hmm. Deer on right. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's... Oh, there's part of one. There's one. This is a fun game. Mm-hmm. It's too bad you guys aren't here to join in on the fun. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Look at that. We just have uh, 25 miles of dirt slash gravel road. So we get to our destination after driving. 14 hours from Idaho. This feels good. Didn't even have to. Oh, no service. No Wi Fi. No nothing. We are officially off the grid. Hashtag White Road Adventure. <laughs> Wish us luck. Come <coughs> off my phone. You're a smart one. Yeah. Pass those genetics on. No consideration. What? Serious. <laughs> it's just like a lot of 14 hours through Montana. 
This isn't the white road adventure. This is the no road adventure. And then a ramp for you right there. Hey, okay. thanks, guys. You can jump it. Pretty considerate. Oh, look, that. Easier to back off. You're good. Oh, okay. That's it. Good look, disaster averted. We're back on the nice back. gravel. <laughs> the smooth ramp. No service, though. <sighs> Definitely no service. I'm just trying to get educated on, like, you know, on the local areas here, but. We're in Montana. What do you need to get educated about? <laughs> Big skies. Big skies. Big dark skies. There's not even any like stars. There's not even light pollution. Why are there no stars? Does Montana not believe in stars? I mean, come on. Everybody should believe in stars. That's a gimbal. It's supposed to prevent shakes. Look at it. <laughs> So much for shake-proof camera. <laughs> you really ask What's so the much of technology. Wow. <laughs> and all this vibration and you don't even need D batteries. <laughs> Inappropriate. <laughs> oh, uh, dude, what? This is not Jurassic Park! This road by has been graded in like years. No one cares about Montana. You are the dumbest animal ever to get ran over on this road. You deserve to be taken off. Whatever. Sorry, 14 hours later. Not functioning. Alright, I'm just gonna put this down here. Good idea! Hey look, you can hear me normally again. Cheers. So whose idea was this again? Come on, the middle of nowhere. Oh, just some random person that I've never met on Facebook. It's like, hey, you should come check this place out. <laughs> Even though you've never heard of it. Or anybody else in here. He's probably laughing so hard man, that we're driving on this road right now, thinking we're gonna catch big fish. You probably just Google giant smallmouth pictures and just yep. send them to me. Send them to you. What are we thinking? Did we even confirm that there are smallmouth in this lake? No, I didn't. There's gotta be some Did kind you? of fish. I think there's salmon. It's close, isn't there? Burbot? I think there's burbot in Montana. Isn't that what frogs do? Oh my god! 
Why we drove 15 hours yesterday. <laughs> that pretty lady. How you feeling, Oliver? Uh, feeling like I almost got hooked by my net man. But other than that, feeling pretty good. <laughs> X-Pod, baby, X-Pod. Baby white pythons. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude, that thing is heavy. That's a good one. Yeah, those other two I missed were for sure small. Mm -hmm. Good grief. It's a good start. It's a very good start, I'd good say. Start, man. Nice work, play. Oh. Worked hard for that fish. Evolution Hedgehog! Look at that thing. A little Okashira head with a little bit of feathers on there, you know what I'm saying? You know Alright, what'd you catch? A little smallmouth. This is considered a dink for uh, where we are. <laughs> what'd you catch it on? Um, the OG Evolution Hedgehog. Wh whose beautiful rod is that? That, that would be yours. <laughs> Hopefully if I catch enough fish on this thing, uh, They'll bring them back. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. <coughs> you skate. What? Uh, pretty fish oh, man, you got there. Look at this thing. It's healthy. All right, this one's a little dink, so I'm assuming we're gonna catch some bigger ones. So let's let this one go. Get a little bigger for next time. There go. Woohoo! finger <laughs> that's cool man I'm happy for you thanks man thanks for letting me use your setup this thing is sick dude <laughs> the pro science not too bad either It's more worth getting up for. Eight bites actually, you have to fight. And you didn't have to you didn't have to drive 70 miles. Right. You didn't have to go up any windy hills. But we kind of drove up one crappy. Oh, 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 oh my god, look how many there are. Oh got him. <laughs> oh! Dude, it's fired up. They're a little, but let that thing fall. Come on, look at him. Dude, that's crazy. That one came off and smacked it so hard. I don't know how I didn't catch him. There's so many of them here. Good grief, where are we? I think we're in heaven. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. That's going to be a big one, probably. That's careful. Oh, that's a good one. Bouncer? Yeah. Redemption! Yeah! <laughs> Look at that thing, boys. Talk to me, Kobe. What are we doing here? <laughs> Oliver just fired up, fired up a pile of smallmouth with his, uh, he's got, what are you throwing there, the 110? Throwing the 110? So I dropped down right next to the boat <laughs> and stuck this big girl. Look how beautiful she is, man. 
About as round as she's along. I think it's a good first it. Montana Smalley, man. Yes, sir, man. Might be worth the $86. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Exactly. Sweet. Let's see if we can catch a few more. Good on you, mate. Good on you, mate. What do you got in the box so far? It's only 720 in the morning. 720 in the morning. We got a pike. We got some strawberry juice. We got a pike. And a big, big, big. And we got a big O smallie. I want to refresh that water, brother. There's lots of blood in it. Yeah. Honestly, you should probably throw some juju in there. What are you doing, jigging spark sheds? <laughs> just dropping all my followers. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what you do on Instagram? <laughs> I have no response to that. <laughs> Can't deny it. Are you dropping that stupid thing on them? No one or ah. <laughs> I didn't have dot crawler and there was too much action. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna add some G juice here. Make sure we're keeping our keeping lots of uh Oxygen and stuff in the water for the fish. Yes. Don't mind our lunch. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean the pike. <laughs> Squeeze about a half, half ounce in there. Let's kind of add some a few chemicals and additives that'll kind of help soothe the fish, calm the fish throughout the day, keep them, help rejuvenate their slime coat and all that good stuff. Even if we're just holding them for pictures like we usually do, you know, it's better to keep, take care of them while you do have them so that they stay healthy when you let them go. So, good stuff. All right, cut for the wardrobe change. <laughs>